Hello, my friends, welcome back to an episode of Banner Saga 3 with me, Notorious BLT. Alright. The warped are becoming more rest, uh, relentless. Seems to be more and more of them, Spar gripes, rubbing his sore shoulders. You nod. Must mean we're getting close. I'm curious what Spar would get for, like, a third ability. Warp dredge bodies ornament this hill like crenellations, some sitting or slumped, all dead. What happened here, grunts Valgard, pushing one over with his foot. Hundreds can be seen from the hilltop, and they look suspiciously arranged. This wasn't a battle, Val Valgard continues, noting the same. Uh, Juno and Ivan have nothing <coughs> have nothing to add. Wait, what if this is a warning of some kind for something ahead, suggests Ditch. Inspect the dredge briefly for clues. The dredge's weapons are stowed, but they each suffer the same piercing wound. They have no signs of food or supplies, and something feels wrong about the way they sit, loosely propped up in a circle, looking at each other. It suddenly dawns on you. Mass suicide. These dredge appear to have ended each, uh, ended each other before the darkness reached them, rather than be twisted alive. It leaves a pit in your stomach to wonder if the, uh, the survivors in Airbrang might do the same. The caravan leaves the macabre scene behind. Well, poo. The white tower that looked like a toothpick when I first saw it now soars above our heads, dwarfing any structure made by kings or wow. This is where our troubles began. And with luck, where they will end. <laughs> the armies have crashed against the steep black cliffs of Erborang before. Or, not, not the armies, just armies. Uh, as the warp do now. You retreat again, and it, uh, it was costly. Thousands more dead, but necessary. Banshee whales went on long into the encroaching night. But the black rock wall has never been breached, and, uh, and menders... Uh, yeah, has never been breached, the menders tell you. Oh, I love the little touch of the smoke there. Uh, even with so many slaughtered, space is scarce. Leo nods when you tell him you're going to get some air outside the crowded gathering halls. Survivors camp in different clusters atop the Black Rock. You wonder how many, uh, how many, yeah. you wonder how many families uh, sewn upon your banner are just memories now. Then you note how strange the silence sounds. The clans have lost their taste for troublemaking, and even the warped have withdrawn. Maybe you're safe up here. Maybe the menders are right. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. There we go. Did we get any renown last time? No. That's fine. Wait, is Hakon... I didn't see. Is Hakon still busted? Hakon. Hakon? Yeah, you're still busted. Fuck. All right. Well, unfortunate, but hey. That's how things, that's how things go sometimes. <laughs> stairs. I don't like that sound. No, sir. Fatigue draws you into a stupor. It feels weird to be doing nothing, Leo says, breaking the silence. Sp Ooh, excuse me. Spirits are low. Maybe this would be a good chance to see how everyone's holding up, you consider it. Uh, let's talk to Zephyr first. Zephyr is overseeing the menders, looking just as drained, if not more. She calls you by name. I've heard more about you since coming to Erborang. Seems like these people owe you a great deal. I didn't do it on my own. Close enough, though. I wish I had supported you better at the gates. And I also heard you traveled with a Varl named Yingvar. Wait, yeah. Yeah, 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 because, uh, yeah, otherwise it's Ivor. Right, right, right. Uh, that seemed like quite a coincidence at first. You consider what to say. How did you discover this light spell, Yingvar? Let's see. How did you discover this light spell? Not easily. Things went bad at Manahar, and I was the only one left in the aftermath. I spent days trying anything I could think of against the darkness. I nearly gave up, but what Juno and Ivan must have done, nobody thought it was possible. When you become a uh, when you become a Valka, are you all forced to take an oath to be as vague and mysterious as possible? 
I'm sorry. I would, uh, it would be hard to believe if I told you. Try me. I believe they have pulled down and shattered the black sun that resides inside the earth. Okay, I can see your earlier point. <laughs> you consider what to say. Do you know Ivor? He is well known, especially amongst the dredge. They say he once slew a Sundra named Raves, who carried Be uh, who carried Bellower's child. Ruin was Raves' sister. It's my belief that Ruin probably came to Erbrang hoping to find Yingbar. In the face of this darkness, the other Sundra have scattered to the wind, but Ruin wanted revenge, even if it meant killing everyone in the way. Are you saying all the people who died in the siege was because of Ivor? And I can only imagine it, w uh, it is why Bellower chased you all the way to Borsgard. I suppose there's no point in secrets anymore. At the great, uh, after the Great War, the Valka tried to broker a peace with the Dredge, and mostly succeeded. But one of the conditions uh, was that we deliver the Varl named Yingvar. They called him Destroyer. We searched, but never found him. Juno and Ivand would almost certainly have recognized him. Did they ever mention this? Um, shit, did they? I don't think they ever did. I don't recall. I can't blame you. You've been through quite a lot. Still, I wish I knew their intentions. You trust your friend Ivor completely? I'm not asking this. More than completely. Then you were right to let him go, and that itself gives me hope. You consider what to say. So what's your plan? To keep this light lit as long as I can. In the early days, the Valka had nearly godlike powers. They spent generations obsessed with immortality. It has become diluted over time, of course. Did you know that the Valka raised the black rock plateau we're standing on, pulled straight out of the earth? The unnaturally dark rock is the same material Dredge used to make their armor, believe it or not. That was long before I was born. Me, I've learned a few tricks, but all I can do uh, all I can do now is share the same blind hope that uh, that if we just hold out, maybe well maybe this uh, will be of more use to you than me. The Valka retrieves an item from the folds of her cloak and hands it to you. Clasp of kin. How long do you think we have left? Not long now. Make the most of your time. Consider what to say. I'll let you focus. I only wish I could have done more. Alright, I want to see what that item is. Hopefully it doesn't require us to be super high level, because that would be unfortunate. Uh, plus three all talents, plus one will per turn, plus one armor per turn, plus one break. Hmm... I... Who would I put this on? Probably you. But I can't. <laughs> Which really sucks. Yeah, plus three... Well, you do have talents, don't you? Yeah. Poopy. You need two kills. Arg. We definitely have to go on somebody tanky, I think. Maybe not. I'll take another look at it. Uh-oh. Uh Ubin. Tell me what it is, my man. Scriv <coughs> Scrivener is scratching diligently at his paper. Papers? He looks up. Scathatch halts whatever conversation he and Ubin were having. Hello, Hunter. Found yourself a little patch of quiet and don't know what to do with, your <coughs> with yourself? Something like that. They had the storm, as the poets say. You start predicting the weather when, uh, when, you've, when you've been around long enough. Or maybe you just talk about it more. The old Varl stops scratching notes and ta uh, to talk. Ever seen anything like this before in your many years? You know, I've heard mankind uh, take being called old an insult. But I never knew why. Now, let me think. Well, the fall of... Scrimmerstead is something is something to behold. Half a city sinking into the Silverstone. And Grofheim was even bigger. But something like this? No, it was not. 
Funny how our memories measure worth, isn't it? I remember my companion Gunolf telling me I look like an uh, like an eggplant better than I recall a city sinking beneath the waves. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, dude? Holy shit! That's why I like to write think. Uh, that's why I like to write these things down. Skethad said something in his own tongue, and Ubin laughs. He says I don't look like an eggplant. <laughs> the farmer stops scratching notes to talk. What have you been writing in your book? Stories mostly, but not like the menders and scalds. No. The Menders write about what's in the past, and the Skalds uh, stretch fantasies about what happened. The historical writings are mostly useless, if you ask me. Even a perfect record is only good as the man reading it, and most of us aren't that good. You mean you remember things the way that suits us best? Are you, uh, no, that wasn't a question. It's, you mean we remember things the, the way it's, that suits us best? You can spin a dozen different morals from the same yarn. Indeed, we're all a bunch of liars at heart. I write stories about people. When someone reveals their own hopes and fears, that's the truth of things, even if it's a lie. Understand? One of the reasons I learned to talk... One of the, one of the reason I learned uh, to talk to people... I learned to talk to people? Oh, I learned to talk to people like the horseborn. I was going to say, like... Are you saying that like that's why you like to talk to people? Alright, but well, anyway. I, I'd like to speak with the Dredge, too, one day, if they'll have me. The old bar will stop scratching notes to talk. I've been curious for more detail about uh, Dalaland, the Horseborn homeland. Why don't you ask them yourself? Ubin says a few words to Skathad, she nods. Ubin translates the best he can. I'm a traitor. I've traveled more than most and never seen the end of our lands. Maybe they are endless. Men have said it is empty, but they were wrong. Or, but they are wrong. They only think it is empty because they move too slowly. When the sun stops, we celebrate. It is a blessing. It is warmth and freedom. But then the shattering, sp uh, the shattering split our land into pieces. Now each piece is small and empty. I think my kind becomes restless here. They talk a lot about the brave who tried to outrun the darkness. They have already become legend. Maybe they are still running across the Delaland. I like to imagine this. Your city is heavy and cold, and made for men to walk slowly in circles, but go nowhere. I will be glad to see the sun again. He looks a little wistful and nods his head to say he's, uh, he's done. The old Varl stops scratching notes to talk. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. No worries. If you want to talk, I'm glad for the company. Out of curiosity, what are you planning to do with your writings if the darkness overtakes us? Leave it for someone else to find? Ubin's smile suddenly falls from his face as he realizes it'll, be, it'll become warped. Would you believe I hadn't thought of that? Maybe a horseborn could... No, not without a mender. Maybe we could spare a men, uh, mender to... Damnation. We'll have to live. There's no way around it now. I don't like seeing all these people in despair. I mean, Ubin seems to be in roughly good good humor. Well, good humor is in good sorts, sort of, at the moment. Get out of here, you weird, like, sailhead squid thing. The Warped have not been able to scale the Black Wall since coming here a day ago. Many... Uh, many want to take full advantage of the of the respite. Others call it full. Yeah, others call it folly. God, I cannot read today. Keeping a full watch now means forcing fatigue, uh, fatigued and wounded survivors to take turns. Some haven't slept in days. No, we gotta keep watch. The strong protect the weak. Unfair, some say. Life's unfair, reply others. Stress is starting to seep into every decision. Nobody comes away happy, but uh, but enough capable men and women volunteer, and the dreaming face of a sleeping child convinces you it was the right decision. Basement. Fuck. A woman comes to you quietly in confidence. Saw a whole bunch of fools, she confides. Drunk as boiled owls. That's a very interesting phrase. <laughs> Laughing it up down there. Some of the men have snuck downstairs to take advantage of the dwindling mead. 
Join us, Hunter, they chortle when you go to look for yourself. Can't take it with you. Maybe they have a point. On the other hand, these supplies could be stretched out for days. Before you can pass judgment, a scraping and rumbling uh, grows until it shakes the empty cups scattering around the floor. Flagstones burst and the warped claw their way from underneath. Terror drags the sluggards to their feet. This must be uh, what the warped have been up to this whole time. Fayan slurs, uh, slurs a man, pulling down a barrel out of the warped and knocking it back below. Fan them all! Uh, let's see. Save the supplies and wait for help to arrive. Use the barrels to help repel the warped. Rouse the drunks to stand their ground and fight. Lose people. Lose supplies. Don't know. <laughs> Well, okay. The fewer... Oh, Jesus. There's two ways to look at this. Well, actually, there's a lot of ways to look at this, but the two that come to mind immediately are... You lose people, your supplies last longer. However, uh, and, and this is the other part, so, like, you know, if you lose people and you have more... So, and, and the supplies last longer, that means you hold out for longer. However, it could also mean you lose people, the warped get in easier, and then you don't live as long. So, all of these options seem like garbage. But we're gonna rise the drunks to stand their ground. You kick slashed men to their feet, thrusting weapons into their hands. Earn your keep, fight for your lives, you scream. More warp drag themselves up into the basement. Uh, an eternity later, backup comes clomping down the stairs. What took so long, you shout? It's not just here, also... Uh, uh, it's not just here, Leo replies. They're coming up all over the plateau. Then we send them back into the dirt quickly, you reply. Oh, balls. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I think all of you together is fine. Um, right, we can't really... No, we don't really have enough to beef anybody up. Do I want to put this on anybody? Plus three all talents, plus one will, plus one armor per turn, plus one break. I mean, you're just so insane. Like, damn. Right? Is you, well... No, can't do that. Um... Yeah, because wait, it was what? It was plus three strength, right? Um, and this thing gives you minus two, but that's actually fine. You don't actually have wall, right? No, you can summon dudes, you can do run through, and you can do bloody flail. You've got a decent amount of armor, etc. But you're also slow as dirt. Well, not slow as dirt. You're you have like one less movement than most others. Uh, Augur, you've got this thing, which is what? Plus three strength talents, plus three arm talents, plus one aggro. Um, that can't be well. What this do? One break resist, one strength resist. That could be really good on you. And you could actually use it. This could also be very good on you. Plus three armor. Plus 20% divert arm. I think that means just like you have a 20% chance to, to resist armor damage. This puts you up to 17. Or, no, 16, because this is giving you armor. Okay, so get rid of this. Well, no, don't get rid of it, just don't use it right now. Oh, uh, wait, is this thing that I was just talking about? Three armor, divert arm. Okay. So, now when I mouse over you, okay, it doesn't actually tell me the thing, but actually, is there a better one for you? I really don't know. Let's just take a look here. So, if I give you this, you have plus one, actually, the plus one aggro... Hang on. Mogger, you have... You have armor talents, and you have a strength talent. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, if we're taking you into battle... Honestly, I really think that this is the way to go. Because the aggro, the armor... The uh, the aggro and the, the strength, etc. resist... Just... It's so good, dude. It's so good. I, I think that's the way to go. I think that's the way to go. Okay. And I would really love to get you higher level. Maybe. Right, you have... Right, you cause a dot whenever you do anything to anybody. What are you currently using? Right, the plus three strength things. Ubin, you are just so, like, redonkulously good. 
redonkulously good. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. If I had put Hopeful on you, that would have been stupidly good. But anyway, let's go. Pretty sure we're all set with what people want, or what we want to put on people. Whew. Oh, shit. They took the way into the wall. Let's see. Anybody else got anything to say? Okay. Um, Alright, so you are strong. You're not super strong. Okay, you've got warped and other garbage. Dude, that's a lot of slingers. Um. Hmm. I definitely do not want you to get too low on strength because then you might be able to hurt me real bad. And by hurt me real bad, I mean explode you. Okay, hang on a second. Just, yeah, let's lower that just a little bit. It, it is a little loud. Um, Goodmunder, I kind of feel like I want Goodmunder to tank all those slingers. Because uh, what's, what's your break? You have two break. You have three, you have four. Wait, there's already patches of poop on the ground? No. No, okay. Never mind. Um, shit. Why do I want to do this? You have mending. Yeah, you can mend. Um... Then again, you could also rough these guys up real hard. You know what? You're going to wade into them. You're going to run into these guys and be a real piece of shit. And just, like, stop them in their tracks, I hope. Um, I, we, I think we want to concentrate on this side. Adria, let's put you over here-ish. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you guys being able to move up uh, move up pretty far, I think, is a good idea. Um, right, and the singles out, is, the, the reveal weakness is also very good. Uh, I think that's how we want to go. Because you should be able to, like I said, you should be able to plow through these guys pretty good. So wait, you have... Chugwave does armor break damage, hot ash remains, uh, men's... Okay, right. So if you do something, Kindle is going to be what it is. Yeah. Alright, I think we're ready. Goodwinder, get up there and just start being tanky and annoying. Yep. Resist a... Re Resistify. <laughs> Okay, so you could really fuck this dude up. Um, I forget. Wait, Kindle is... Causes knockback to all adjacent units doing armor break damage. So, spending more just gives more knockback. Um, I think I'm going to spend so that I can get in there and just, like, really start tearing into these guys. Oh, it's wave fighting. Oh, good. Well, you can still... Don't kill it. Maim it. Yeah. Okay, big boy is next. Um, see Tempest and reveal weakness. How far can you get? You if I mm, I don't want you, I don't want him to get to Ubin is the thing. I think maybe we hold Ubin back for a moment. That way the only one that... Well, actually, you could do the Sucky Sucky, right? Yeah, you can do the Sucky Sucky, which is no good. It's really just don't get to either of these. Like, don't, don't get... Don't have any of your bits in these squares. Actually, maybe having you... 
force an attack? Wait, how far past? Okay, so it's one past the edge of this guy. So don't go to, like, don't go here or here. Yeah. So there is also bad. There is okay. Right? No. So really, moving up just a little bit is the only way we can go. Um, and the range on this just increases. Right, so... Okay, so we'll be using two. To have good wonder attack this guy. It's not a great use, I understand, but like, still. Deflected. Fuck. Well, poopy. Yeah, resist like whoa. Um I would like for you to shoot him and break his armor a bit, I think. Yeah, stay back so that Ubin can get in there and do something. Do you want to beat this? No, don't don't spend will on that. Just break his armor. They're really concentrating on Goodmunder, so I think we're fine where we are. All right, so you're, you're going to suffer from a bleed. Mm -hmm. Right, because you... Oh, right, I forgot you're going to be resisting damage like crazy. Uh, okay, you're going to do something next. Uh, and I, I really have no desire to find out what that something is. All right, because if you're, if you're next to Ubin, you get bonus damage. Um, so we could actually poison you. Or I could poison you. No, let's poison you. Because I would really like for you to die. Or, or, or just get horribly maimed very quickly. You're probably going to do the lower armor gain strength thing, is my guess. Um... I'm just thinking, if I did Breeze on you, Ubin could move all the way over here and just, like, blender through these guys. But is that how we want to do? I don't know. Five, six, seven. With the dredge going next, I don't know if I really want to make runic bits. It could be super useful, though, I suppose. Because, like, right now... Honestly, you know what? Give, yeah, give Breeze to Ubin. That way he can go super far and do whatever he wants. Yeah, because these guys aren't really going to be plowing through your armor very much at all. Um, I would really like for you to tank it up again. Please don't shoot, Ubin. Okay, you're down to 17. Um, wait. Oh, okay, there you are. Um, you could break armor, or you could just start, like... I mean, you're already beating the shit out of these guys. That one's next, huh? And you're not spending will yet, either. And you're also regenerating armor. Okay. So Ubin could actually just destroy you. And then that dude goes next. Um, but really can't... Well, you could spend three that would maybe do a point of damage to Ubin. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Rook can't shoot you. You could shoot this guy. But would that do us any good? No, probably not. Um, I would really like for you to not do anything ever again. It's either that or get in here and do a Tempest. I mean, you spend three will, you kill this guy. Is that worth it? Because you're you're doing yeah you're doing rupture. Oh no wait. Oh fuck. They're all below ten. St oh boy. Yeah. I th it, since you're doing rupture instead of uh, what's the other one? Umbridge. Yeah, you're doing rupture. I think you have to die. Definitely. So let's send Ubin all the way over there and and mash this dude into the dirt. 
I can't kill you because I fucked up. Um, shit. Is that really what I want to spend on? You go before the Stone Singer, so you could get in here and shoot it and kill it. You have a strength of 13, so you do 3 damage. Um, how many will points do you have? You have 6. So that's going to leave 4. I would like for you to just die? Yeah. So let's do 10 damage. No! You monster! Don't do that! God fucking damn it! I'm hoping you're just gonna keep concentrating on hitting Goodmunder, because he just, like, doesn't give two shits about you. Um, please shoot this guy and break his shit. Okay, he's bleeding now? Nope. Okay, good. Yeah, hit Goodmunder. Yep, and he resists everything because he's wonderful. Okay. So let's get you here. I know this is a risk. But we, we gotta we gotta kill it. Why can you why are you doing so much damage? Oh god, how did I forget you get plus two damage when not adjacent to allies? God damn it. Yeah, no no rupture, please. You're kind of fucked up. Okay, you're doing the sucky. I hate it. I I hate that ability so goddamn much. Uh you've lost a tiny amount of armor. If I'm gonna repair anybody's armor, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh what's his face? It's gonna be um Bastion. Yeah. Yeah, Bastion. Let's let's just make him like indestructible. Figures. Fucking figures. Um, continue being a tank man. Please don't shoot her. Okay, I mean, you're shooting Ubin. I get it. Uh, okay, the one that has one strength is the one going next. Then it's another one with one strength. Okay, so why don't you smack this guy? When Ubin goes... Well, okay. I was going to say, that's not going to work out so much anymore. I, I was going to have him go in here and Tempest, like, a whole shitload of them, but it's not really going to work out that way. Um, you're just slowly dying, so actually maybe doing Tempest is the right way to go? I don't like that you're going to be going, but, I mean, at the same time... It's Tempest. I would also like to get you a kill if possible. Um, just keep breaking armor and and putting dots on people. Yeah, because if you guys are just going to keep beating on Goodmunder, then I'll be very happy. Um, I mean, you can move over here and then shoot one of them. So let's do that. Five. Four critical, that'll kill it. That's good. How many turns do you have left of living? Not many. Like, none, really? Uh, who's low on armor? You're kind of low on armor. I would like to repair yours, please. And then we'll repair yours. Or maybe Bastion, I don't know. That. Okay. Um, you can't kill him. I would really like to keep you topped up on willpower. Because honestly, I think having you around with as much willpower as possible is like the greatest thing that's ever been made. So, um, how much break can you guys muster? Not much. So let's see. If I tank up, five should be more than enough.
Yeah, tank up. Yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna keep resisting like forever. And you're dead. And then you. If I can hold out for Goodmunder to go. Good fuck, damn it. If I can hold out for Goodmunder to go, he could probably kill this guy and actually, like, you know, get the get the kill. Um Wait, are you you're not screwed up, are you? I don't think so. I mean, well, okay. Brook. Um. I mean, is rest going to give you anything? I don't know. Let's see. You're. Well, why don't I at least shoot you and break your armor? That way, we know Good Mentor is going to be able to wreck you. Um. Why don't you come over here and rest? Oh, I moved. God damn it. Okay, why don't you repair her armor? Okay, Goodmunder, destroy this thing. Yay! Okay, so next up should be Bastion, right? Alright, I think everybody is good to keep going got five willpower, and I've got enough backed up to do stuff. Um, they're going to be coming in from this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can move pretty goddamn far. We're definitely going to fight. Um... Actually, you know what? We're going to pick this up in the next episode. Hope you all did enjoy this one. If you did, you know what to do. That is me for me, Notorious BLT. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.